Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. I said in my last video, which was my first video, that I wanted to get a special effects makeup video out. So this is it. Um, it's not one of my best. I am not professional, I'm still in a learning curve. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but this is it so far. Um, if you want to see how I did it, then keep watching. Just starting by using a makeup wipe to clean off any makeup on my skin and then following it up with a lip liner in a pink shade to mark out where I want my wounds to go on the skin. Then I take my huge bottle of latex and put it into a little tin lid thing that I got from a candle and used a sponge and applied a base layer of latex over the marks. Using cotton wool pleats, I just rip some up and I apply a layer of liquid latex and then the cotton on top and then some more liquid latex on top to create the outline of the wounds following where I put my markings. A wooden stick, I just use that to push the latex and cotton up a bit so that I get a deeper indent in the skin. Just inside the wound I applied a little bit more latex and little pieces of cotton wool so you get more of a texture in between the wound so it actually looks like something has been clawed at your face. <laughs> Using pieces of toilet paper I just rip it up and I apply some liquid latex around the edges of the cotton wool and then apply the tissue on top followed with another layer of latex just to smooth out the edges and give it a more blend into my natural skin. After using a hairdryer to quicken the drying process, I just used a translucent powder over the top of all my work so that I can set it all down and remove the stickiness. Then using foundation, I just go over that all to match it to my own skin colour. It doesn't completely match, but it's okay because it'll get covered up by a load of blood and stuff later on. Then went on to set that down as well with a powder. And then I went on to using face paints in a blue, in a couple of blues and purples and reds to create an irritation and bruising around the wound. Now I'm just using a red lipstick on a lip brush and I'm applying this inside the wounds to look like it's actually been ripped out of my skin. I just use the lipstick on my finger and apply it around the edges just for a little bit more of an irritation look and also as a base for blood splatters and then applied black eyeshadow around the edges of the wounds to add depth to the hole. Here I'm just applying black around my eye to look like I've smudged my eyeliner and then I'm following up with fake blood. <laughs> I messed up on the blood, I put too much blood on and it just dripped all the way down so I had to remove some of it but I think it turned out okay, um, it's one of my best. Obviously as I said in the intro I'm still learning um, so it's not going to be perfect, I'm not a professional so I still don't know what I'm doing but this is what I've done, I've been stained by blood. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you kind of found this helpful. I don't know, you just enjoyed watching me screw up my face and all that jazz. Um, I say that a lot, all that jazz. Mm. Um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, it's not so painful. Ugh. Beautiful. I'm keeping that in my special box.